Ghana's agricultural sector continues to remain the backbone of the country's economy. 65% of the population are farmers and produce several food items to feed the rest of the population. Traditional food processing methods remain the main modes of food processing in Ghana. These are limited in many ways. Most food items are therefore consumed without being processed or exported in their raw state. Tons of unprocessed foods therefore get rotten, depriving farmers and processors of badly needed incomes. Employment opportunities are also lost. The Root and Tuba Improvement and Marketing Program, ARTIMP, of the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, being sponsored by the Government of Ghana and the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, is currently working with root and tuber farmers and processors across the country to introduce more efficient food production and processing methods, particularly for cassava, an important Ghanaian staple food. Under our tip, the Ministry of Food and Agriculture has established Good Practicing Centers, GPCs, at its operational areas in the country where farmers and processors are introduced to modern best practices for producing and processing. The adoption of these practices are systematically improving the income levels of farmers and processors. We have also set up what we call Good Practicing Centers where uh, we have improved the equipment of existing processes uh, into a certain level and uh, they are increasing their output now. At these good practice centers, which, is, which also serve as learning centers, we send other small processes to these good practice centers to go and see how new machines work. And then we assist them, if they want, to be able to procure some of these new equipment. The key features of the GPCs include the installation of standardized equipment like the stainless steel grater, the cassava chippers, slices, single and double screw press, hydraulic press, fermentation bay, dewatering bay, roasting stove with chimney, stainless steel roasting pans, flash and then batch dryers. Fifteen GPCs have been established under RTEMP in its operational areas. They include Josma Agro Industries Nashanti Mampong, Mark and B Face Gary Processing Factory, Awurua Cooperative Processing and Marketing Society at Techiman, Ajunipa Gary Processing Association at Apesika in Tano North of Bronga Afo, Kroye and Wonsum Cassava Processing Factory at Otaipro, Kanye Tewule 2 Processing Group at Damango. Unity Cassava Processing Group at Inquanta and Tropical Starch Limited at Abrodunqua. We have also trained equipment fabricators in most locations so that they'll be able to service equipment that break down. If a processing equipment breaks down in the village, usually uh, that is the end of the, the job for the day, even sometimes for the week. So we are training uh, local fabricators to be able to service this equipment so that the breakdown time could be minimized. 42 people comprising 28 mechanics and 14 masons have been trained by Artem to construct, fabricate, maintain and repair standardized equipment. The processors who use the equipment have also received training in environmental management and other forms of good manufacturing practices, GMPs. The use of stainless steel equipment for grating and roasting cassava presents an important technological shift in food processing in the country. One thing that we are also doing is uh, standardizing the equipment across the country and also making use of uh, more safer uh, equipment. We are now introducing stainless steel for the manufacture of graters, for the manufacture of, of presses. Originally, these processing equipments were made of mild steel, which was quite unsafe. Now we are using stainless steel across the country. Stainless steel equipment ensure food safety, efficiency, and is less labor intensive with better quality output. It, however, costs more than the mild steel equipment. This stainless steel equipment is being promoted to replace current food processing equipment made of mild steel, which wear and corrode when they react with the environment. In short, stainless steel equipment do not rust and therefore presents safer and healthier option for cassava processing. 
processors of cassava into dough, gari and other root and tuber products who have adopted the use of the stainless steel equipment have commended the new technology and its positive impact on their trade. Dosma Agro is a cassava processing entity. And uh, we started processing cassava as a result of not having market for our produce and then wanting to add value to the produce cassava. We started about five years ago as a small entity using the round type of stoves, roasting stoves, and mild steel pans. Then gradually, with the support of our temp and Mufa, we've moved up using this big facility now. About a year ago, we got to know that mild steel was hazardous and injurious to health. So with the support of our team, we started changing some of the equipment that we use into stainless steel material. Though stainless steel is very expensive, it's better to use that and it will give us good results in the long run. We think stainless steel is a better option. Number one, if you roast with it, it's very smooth. And if you tend to your fire well, it doesn't burn. And the end result is also very fine. Gary. After introducing the stainless steel to the company, uh, we got to know that it doesn't rust. That's the first point. The second point, it can keep the heat for a longer time. And then our gari, we get smooth and fine quality of gari from that stainless steel. So we thank the Haritim people for introducing that stainless steel to our company. With the introduction of the stainless steel processing equipment, consumers of processed foods such as gari, kokonte, can be assured of safer, healthier and better quality food. All over the world, stainless steel equipment have become the preferred option for food processing in Brazil, Nigeria and several other African countries. Ghana has certainly not been left out in the use of modern technologies and global best practices.